In this lesson, I want to talk about the requirements for this project. So if you're building out any type of project, you should have some type of requirements list. Now, in our case, we're just building out a fun side project or maybe a personal project. But even in those cases, I like to have requirements. Now, I'm not going to have the same type of requirements that I may have at my day job, but I do want to have a plan going in. You know what Benjamin Franklin says? If you fail to plan, you're planning on failing. So what we're going to do here is create just some stories about what we want to create in this application. So again, at work, I come from an agile development team where we use these things called stories to kind of tell what we're going to do in a particular project. And so what I'm using here is a free software called Asana. I highly recommend it. Um, I can't say enough great things about it. I use it for almost everything, whether it's creating a course outline for this or using a Kanban board style like this to kind of list out all of my stories. So let's talk about these three different columns here. So I have a not started, in progress, and completed. So not started is going to be my bucket for all the things that I think I need to work on. And the way that they're going to work is you're going to write out stories. So in this story, I'm saying as a developer, I want to create a Git repository for this project and store it on GitHub. Seems like a simple enough story, but that's essentially a task now that I have to complete. And so we're going to do that in the next section. We're going to go through and create a Git repository and store this on GitHub. So that's just a story. Um, and anytime you're starting to work on something, you would move it into the in progress. So right now, we're looking at the requirements. Again, we don't have to have the entire project planned out, but I do want to have some sort of idea going on. So that's what we're working on now. And in Asana, you can actually have subtasks underneath, assign those to different people, have comments, attach files, tag things. Uh, Asana is really great. We're just going to keep it really simple for now. So I'm going to say right now, we're actually working on this. We're working on the requirements. Um, so I'm going to make that in progress. So I just want to talk through some of these stories. And that will give us an idea of what we're going to build in, in, in this course. And again, this for me isn't complete right now. It doesn't need to be. We can always come back later and add some more stories when we realize we're missing a feature. So we talked about the GitHub one. And now this one is homepage top links. So as a visitor or a logged in user, I want the homepage to include the top 10 links. So really, once those, remember we talked about the idea of upvoting and downvoting as the most popular ones bubble their way to the top, we want 10 of those to display on our home page. Now since we're probably not going to build out subreddits, we really need another way to kind of click into a list of all of the links in our demo application here. Um, so I should be able to click on a link and be taken to it, just like Reddit. I should see the user who posted this link and click through to their profile. I should see the number of upvotes and downvotes this link has received. I should see if there are any comments on that link and be able to click through to view them. So that's our home page, basically our list of links. I have a user registration story that basically says, as a visitor, I should be able to self-register for access to this application. As a logged in user, I will have access to submit links and comment on other posts. So there's that. And then there's a submit link story if I'm logged in. If I'm logged in, I want to be able to upvote and downvote things. And if I'm logged in, I want to be able to comment. And then there's a user profile. So I attached a screenshot here. If you are looking at a profile in Reddit, you can see an overview, which is a combination of posts and comments from that user. You can click over and go to posts. You can click over and go to comments. I haven't really decided how that's going to look yet. Uh, we might just do an overview, or we might just um, probably just do an overview that combines them both um, since our application. Again, this is on a much smaller scale. Um, but we'll do something like that, a public profile where people can see that information. Then I have an update profile. So if I'm logged in and I want to change my image or my 
bio, I should be able to do that. And then we have some testing and production stories here. So that's all I wanted to cover here. Again, just coming up with some sort of plan. Uh, we're using stories to kind of talk out the requirements here. And uh, that gives us an idea of what we need to do. So every time we finish something, we'll move it into completed and then take something from our storyboard and move it into in progress. And that's what we'll be working on. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to taking a look at what, how we can kind of wireframe up a UI and then we'll get into mocking up our domain model. So let's get into that in the next lesson.